Dear Diary, right now it's uh, it's Tuesday. It's the twenty seventh of August, and it's uh, twelve fifteen a.m. right now, and it's uh, thirty seven degrees outside. Well, this could be a shorter diary because. It is going to be literally just me talking about what happened in my day. Also, it's honestly better than nothing because, once again, I can't really talk to people that much in voice chats and stuff. So these sorry ass diaries are my only way of communication with people. It, is, it does seem sad, yes. But again, I'm just like I always used to say, those who don't like these, those who don't like what this kind of thing, those who don't like what these kinds of videos are, or what's going on in these videos, or even know what's going to happen once they see stuff like this, can just click away and unsub if they are sub, you know. I mean, hey people have the right to leave what they don't like just leave it silently you know if you're gonna leave and you don't like this stuff just leave without saying a fucking word like I really do not want to see a stupid heartless comment on this kind of stuff if you don't like anything but just don't get to it Simple, plain and simple. But enough about that. Well, I woke up today, as I probably mentioned. I woke up today with a pretty crazy mixture of Sailor Moon daydreams. Along with uh, some other, you know, along with some other daydreams about me being with a few other freaking, you know, characters from different universes, especially fighting game characters, and especially the current Mai in the City of the Wolves. I mean, Jesus. Like, that kind of reminds me of the time she used to wear some decent clothes back in, you know, freaking Fatal Fury 2 OVA, and that other OVA. And there was that one freaking uh, New Year costume at KLF All Stars. Yeah. Either way, nice guy himself uh, got himself a pretty cool new look. Along with daydreams of being with other characters, as well. Especially Marissa from Street Fighter Six. Woo! She's a huge ass waifu material. Hell, the perfect type of woman. And she's pretty much a bi and canonically more into men. Which is pretty freaking poggers. Also, she may be a. Also, at the end, at the same time, she's pretty much a lesbian towards Manon. <laughs> Woke up today and uh, pretty much progressed with the day in a ridiculously normal fashion. You know, just been going in, scrolling in my phone. I'm pretty much doing nothing but that. 
And later on, I decide to complete that little voice patch for that Mugen voice patch. And while I was doing that, I was surprised to see that the game Final Fantasy XV has actually arrived today. Although, once again, it's not like I'm going to be able to play on it, so I wasn't that excited. Like, I was a little bit surprised, but not hyped. Not hyped at all. Because again, since that mom has decided to put the PS5 away, like, the hype is as good as gone. And my reaction was literally stronger than meh. Literally. And then what do you know? The day actually went pretty smoothly. Like after doing that little voice patch, got lunch, and played a little bit of Mugen until I've had my ass beaten by special god tier AI versions of uh, of the freaking Sailor Scouts. <laughs> it's fucking insane, bruh. How's the uh, you know how literally the the freak no literally some dude can literally make the sailor scouts so fucking hard to beat and of course made a few other remixes I wish I could have posted them but copyrights especially copyrights from daddy sega so yeah I would have like put most of the work on a separate website that isn't uh, that isn't literally YouTube and stuff, but then again, uh, it's way too late for this kind of idea right now. But then again, is uh. It is something. <sighs> and right now, I'm just literally sitting down, reflecting on everything that's been literally happened, and pretty much debating to myself whether I'm actually okay or I'm gonna be okay or I will just never be okay cause to be honest uh like being whether I'm okay or not after everything that's been happened to me all the way from getting into that mental hospital back in Asia all the way to getting over here in Saudi Arabia and get the freaking university shut the shot in front of my face so fucking early you know like I don't know if I'm gonna ever be okay like it is pretty debatable sure I was able to crack a few smiles here and there and I don't even know how and why and sometimes I was brain rotting myself with a little bit of my own internal my own imagined freaking uh, kind of conversations especially if I was a freaking youtuber playing the movie and stuff which would have been possible if the fucking if the fucking cap there's a fucking video capturing software where that shit like seriously bruh video capturing software is a shit for Mugen and I don't even know what the fuck to use for it anymore suppose I'm gonna ask about this at freaking Mugen archive
But meanwhile, uh, yeah, it is debatable whether I'm okay or not anymore. Because right now, everything has completely changed from a whole new hope and looking forward to what's going what was probably going to be the most, you know, challenging yet amazing freaking journey of life in Saudi Arabia. You know, into not even knowing how the fuck am I supposed to feel aside of being shocked, baffled, and in disbelief, and completely, pretty much mostly dysfunctional. And quite depressed. Like I'm not really sure how the hell to feel. And I've been even asking, and I've been sometimes even asking myself if the sadness that I even, that I even used to have, was it even a persona that's been planted in me? Or these are just natural. Like fucking crazy, bro. It's so fucking crazy. And from everything that was literally said and done all the way until now, I don't think I'm even ready to be be freaking sent outside to literally search for a job and scrape it. I don't even think I'm ready even when the freaking universities reply and I get enrolled in them. I'm not even ready to, you know, to face education nor to face having new jobs. I'm not ready to to literally start fucking scraping at college, you know. And most importantly, I'm not even ready to to even try and be in a job and get a freaking stable income. I'm not ready for what's probably gonna be the most uh, the most painful mental pains that I would ever get. That is, if people literally accepted me and actually hired me for the job. Because even in job interviews, I, I wouldn't be ready. And there are like, uh, like job interviews, I wouldn't be ready for them. And even if I was, um, I could fucking mess up or just be ghosted. Like, yeah. I guess I'm not really ready to be in real life, even though I'm already in it. Ever since I'm 23 years old, and I am completely as pretty much the law's hands. If I ever, if I ever fuck up, and being an adult is not something something that isn't that cool. Like, it could be cool if, you know, things actually went cool. Because if things didn't go well, then your adult life is going to suck. And maybe become even worse than mine. 
Yeah. I guess at heart, I'm still a kid who just wants to lay down and stick into my phone and just scroll around, play some games, listen to music, and not to literally think about anything. And I mean like anything that goes around me, you know? Rent, fucking money, money problems, education problems, fucking independency problems, job problems. I just don't want to think about any of this. Nor to be even introduced to them, you know? And, uh... Like, we were, like, we are living in 2024, while things are becoming marginally better in lots of the European and the American regions. Meanwhile, in the freaking Arabic regions, and we're not even talking about Palestine, and the amount of massacre and genocide that's been happening in it. I'm talking Saudi Arabia, Egypt, Kuwait, Bahrain, um, motherfucking Syria. Lots of freaking uh, Emirates, you know, and so on. Like, in Egypt, everything is fucking falling over. Prices for everything is going to, is gonna fucking skyrocket. Even the simplest things are getting completely expensive. In Saudi Arabia, as you might have already known before, clothing education very goddamn early. What like, goddamn, dude? Goddamn. And only God knows what happens in the other fucking country. Cause I know that in the other Arab countries, they might be having lots of shit on their hands. Other than just education and economy yeah like literally it is how it is it is that bad it is that bad to be born an Arab and to be born in yeah it's literally bad to be born an Arab because if you're born as an heir, you're fucked up, my friend. You're fucked up. Because everything is just different. Traditions, habits, uh, m mindsets, mental freaking uh, fortitudes, types of people, uh, the way the the way the people work, economy, freaking lifestyle, everything is just ridiculously different. But it's different on the bad side, literally. How come I, how come I would be knowing stuff like that, bruh? You you literally live in Egypt for like fucking twenty for like fucking 22 years and get to Saudi Arabia and get completely fucking rejected by the fucking education and even the online education very early just like how I did and you will know what I fucking mean like hey some other people out there might have got some worse stuff but since then I've lived in I looked at some shit. I can't help but literally speak about it like that. It's 
fucking insane. It's fucking insane. Like, literally. Like, literally, being an Arab is a fucking joke. It's only to make you a little bit better in the eyes of most people. Because in reality, you're getting sucked, cooked. You know. <sighs> I frankly, I really didn't wish I had. I really wish that I didn't, you know, learn about all this at just a, such a fucking early age. But I live in a family that literally reveals fucking almost everything at this fucking early time and age. Like, seriously. And then people say, that I'm mentally ill, but they don't say why. They don't ask why I'm mentally ill. People say I have problems, but they don't say or ask why I have problems. People say that I'm a fucking freak, a weirdo, but they don't ask why am I a weirdo? Why am I depressed? Why am I saying this stuff at an early age? Why am I such a pessimistic dick? They only say that I'm those stuff, but they don't ask, why am I those stuff? I would have gladly answered them. With evidence, with no evidence, I would have gladly answered them. I would have gladly revealed to them the true source of all that was bad in me. Because I did not intend for my life to fall this hard. I did not intend for myself to be such a complete depressive prick. I did not attempt myself to be a fucking idiot. I did not intend for any of this. Yet I've just made some stupid fucking choices that led me to these moments. And sadly, no matter how much I try, life still goes in and just reminds me of it and crushes my ass with more repercussions out of these past choices. <sighs> but I really wonder, am I really someday going to get relief from all of this? Is there going to be one day where I won't have to be thinking about anything at all? Where I would be actually be able to live in actual comfort and peace and quiet in an atmosphere in a universe where everything is going good for once until the day I die or are we all just a suffering there's ought to be balance you know there's ought to be balance between suffering and getting rewarded there's ought to be a balance between getting gifted and getting fucking cursed there ought to be a balance between good luck and bad luck. There ought to be a balance, right? 
I don't see that. I didn't see that. I didn't literally see the balance of good luck and bad luck. It's all just bad luck. Like literally. Literally went to the point where even the smallest thing that used to make me feel happy and mostly calm, they mostly just don't work anymore. The only thing I would literally gladly do is just be in my room, scroll over my freaking phone, maybe listen to some music, to be all alone, doing nothing. Just be in bed and relax and to be able to sleep forever. And who knows? And who knows what's going to happen? Like, I just want peace and quiet. I just want a good life where. I don't get to fucking suffer mentally like that anymore. I can't suffer physically. Is that to suffer mentally? And we all know how the mental pain is stronger than the physical pain. Physical pain could surely take like a, a few months, maybe a few years, maybe at least a single day, but the mental pain, it would literally, it's going to take centuries to be able to heal from that. sucks but then once again and I repeat for like the 11 millionth time didn't really expect to suck so hard cause like if stuff like that happened then where is the common sense? Where is the actual steps that are supposed to happen according to what we all know? Where are they? Are they all just illusions? Just like everything that we have used to think and dream for? Just a bunch of illusions? You know what? They're all just a bunch of illusions. Because life revealed it to us. Reality has revealed to us these fucking illusions. <sighs> you know, I can't help but remember the one time when my daughter told freaking uh, Obito in the English dub version even though I didn't watch the English dub version nor I have even watched that episode but when I when literally when literally my daughter has told him wake up to reality nothing goes as what as how we want in this accursed world or something along those lines and you know what Madara is so damn right that he couldn't be any more right about that
Then there was a video about one of the Dark Knight movies when the Joker was put into some kind of a talk show. And I literally felt it. When he was literally shouting to that dude while he was saying something along the lines of this is what you want is what you get where you put where you treat someone like me as if I'm garbage as if I don't exist as if I'm some kind of an idiot while well, we're just a bunch of humans like you and what you get is this kind of guy you get what you create. Then there is sense. MCU sense. Where he literally has been saying hardest choices requires the hardest wills. And, and literally, he said, I saw it when I erase the other half, and I erase half of this universe. The other half would strive and live on. But it turned out that can't, that isn't meant to be. As long as there's someone who would remember how it was, it won't work. Like really. Or when Aaron had literally cried during the one time that they faced that same titan that ate, ate his mom and who later on ate, ate his caretaker when he literally said nothing has changed Nothing has literally changed. <sighs> you know the fuck what? Every single one of them is so right. Because <sighs> literally, we live in a world that just don't make sense anymore. And that world sings that we're going to be like most of the people out there who have the strongest mental fortitude that is bound to be Goku. The ones who have the strongest minds and the strongest hearts, the strongest will, you know. The world thinks that everyone, every one of us can literally just get through most of this shit. Well, we would, but then it's mostly by luck, not by the effort, not by the mental fortitude. Because I'm fucking weak mentally. I've said it once before, and I'll say it again. People like me, who are mentally weak, they cannot live in this world. They must die. They shouldn't have ever been born, just like me. Meanwhile, the ones that are mentally strong, 
They are the ones who are allowed to live. They are the ones who will go to heaven without any second thoughts. Even if they are thieves, killers, massive genocide pieces of shit, and every single most fucked up people, Like, even when they're the most fucked up people, they unfortunately have the strongest mental, mental fortitude that's ever known to man. So, they are allowed to live. They are the ones that will go to heaven. Imagine that. And you know what? I know what I'm saying is probably probably gonna be the most messed up thing to be ever heard, but I'm gonna be right. And I might be right for some people. You'll all see. You'll all see. You'll all see. The people are gonna, you know, the people with, with the strongest mental fortitude, they'll be the ones who are gonna be gifted. Or someone like me, they have cursed. They have cursed for life. And to top it all off, I'm gonna be sent to hell. Yeah, it is that crazy, it is that insane, but honestly, I can't help it, and it won't ever be helped, unless there is a life changing, unless the tide changes, life actually becomes good, and there is really hope, and really some prosperity and hope. That would be the time. And then, and only then, I would change my my mindset. But I know it's not gonna happen, because it just doesn't work like that. Mentally strong people, no matter what they are, they are gifted. And they are privileged. And they deserve to live in this world. While me and everyone else who is weak, they are scums. They are scumbags that don't deserve to live. That's just how it works. That's just how it literally works. Life gives to the, to the mentally strong person, not the weak ones. Yeah. Oh well. It is that sad. It is that terrible. Some people might agree with what I'm saying, and some people won't. And hey, we can agree to disagree, because, I mean, I guess other people had different experiences. It varies. So yeah. It is, uh, it is what it is. <sighs> well, here's to hoping that starting from tomorrow, that things would marginally go much better, and I'll get some good news. 
and things would change to the very best and that well education whether it's going to be online or back to the same freaking major that I'm in or you know every other stuff either way let's hope that uh, you know things come to to a good turn I might be I might be able to play a, to play the game tomorrow but tomorrow early because literally mom literally like mom literally would let me play on the freaking PS5 and let me try out the game but pretty much early in the freaking morning um, why early in the morning? because my because the little shit would be out of school would be out at school. My mom literally doesn't want the little shit to see me playing. Because if that happened, stupid shit would happen. That's what she thinks. Even though I only ask her, <laughs> then I would literally just play the freaking game for like three hours and that's it. You know, she could take it whenever the fuck she wants and stuff. It's fucking insane. And then, yeah, that's just how it is. Although I kind of doubt that I would literally wake up early just to play a game. Like, fuck off with that. Ah, <sighs> yeah. Yeah, it's not crazy. But then, what can we do? What can we do? Oh well. And even if I did play the game, I wouldn't be as excited. But at least I would be recovering for for a little. And frankly, after getting Final Fantasy XV, I don't really think I want any more games. Like Fraggle Fury City of the Wolf? Nope. Freaking uh, the the Street Fighter 6 DLC, yeah. I honestly want the Year Two character DLC, and that's about it. You know, like if I could get that DLC, that would be perfect. You know, very perfect for me. Then there, then there is Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, and. I don't really want it. Not just because I haven't finished Final Fantasy VII Remake yet, but I don't give a fuck about it. The Metal Gear 3 Remake? Get out of here with that. <laughs> like... And in pretty much every other upcoming video game, I don't really care about it. Although there's an upcoming Sailor Moon game. That would be fucking awesome. But. That's where the excitement will stop. Because my dad wouldn't let me have, have Sailor Moon. He wouldn't let me have Sailor Moon games. Because he would be literally one with, with every. Well, pretty much almost every single Egyptian who literally, who literally would say this show is for girls, this game is for girls. And believe me, I don't want to bother trying to convince him. Because he's as hard as fuck. Well, that's pretty much about it. There's nothing else to talk about.
mean, it's fucking crazy. It's fucking crazy. Let's just let's just hope that uh, you know one day. But really, when the day where actually everything goes well and everything changes to the best and there's an actual hope then and only then I would rise up to life and think good of it because now it is lost this life is a lost cause. Yep. And that's gonna be about it. Yeah. That's gonna be about it. Nothing more. Nothing less. Also, the end for this little diary. What's gonna happen tomorrow? I don't know. But hopefully, it becomes good. It become no. Hopefully, it becomes much, much more marginally better. Yeah. Just lots of things I'm missing in this world. <sighs> Jeez. What a life. What a world. Let it be known. Let it be written. When you got an experience like mine, this is what you will become. Yeah, life just sucks. <laughs>